Year-round school doesn't mean more days in the classroom. It just means they're spread out differently. But as you can imagine, that brings a lot of different considerations into play. Martin County parents have a lot of opinions on the possibility of a new school schedule. I think it's absolutely amazing. It's going to become a hassle with child care. Yeah, I mean, I went from like a regular school calendar for like first grade, second grade, and then I went into uh the year-round calendar, but I had a great experience. I loved it. All the teachers were great. The district submitted an application to the state to be considered for a year-round school pilot program, but won't move forward if the community is not on board. We're passionate about, obviously, student success, student achievement, and anything that we can do that we think will benefit our students and give them that edge when it comes to learning, when it comes to growing as students and, and citizens in our society. We want to make sure that we carefully review that. More than 400 people have responded to the district online survey on the hot topic. Concerns range from transportation to differing schedules and child care. Potential pilot schools include Pinewood Elementary, Port Salerno Elementary, Warfield Elementary, and Indian Town Middle. The district could move forward with one, all four, go district-wide, or none at all. I don't understand why you would only do one school and it only affects certain parents and not everybody. I mean, not that I want that to happen. I'm completely against it. The National Association for Year-Round Education says about 4% of students across the country are learning in a year-round model. Anastasia Haran says she's seen it work. It does support student growth. The research shows that it's a continuous um, education. The students don't lose any academic gains over the summer. So the school board will meet on Tuesday at 4 p.m. to weigh all of the feedback and really take a closer look at this issue. You can attend the meeting and give public comment or fill out the survey on the school district's website. We have that information for you on our website, WPTV.com. Reporting in Martin County, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.